So the second aspect I would go into is you need to also let go of things that do not longer are aligned with what your um, business is at this moment. Like some people have new products, some people have new service, or they go in a new direction. But what is still around them is sometimes talking still about the past. So it could be files, it can be um, books aligned there, um, you know, anything or just papers, just let go and declutter of what is from the past and go through everything uh, visible and invisible, that means in your drawers, in your cabinets, what is connected with the past or things you don't have to use in the next year. So decluttering is a major thing. And especially where you're working, make sure that, um, you know, if you're sitting, your desk is organized. How can you have a conversation with somebody if there's chaos around you? How can you think there will be something positive coming from your conversation? But that's not just your environment where you are sitting. It can also be on your phone. If you have a hard time finding certain apps, if you look at your computer, you have a hard time finding certain folders. So organize both a digital and physically so that there's no chaos. And even some people say like, I have no time for that. I need to sell, sell. Like, yes, but this is your basic. You know, think about again, the queen and the king energy is like, you know, a queen and a king, they have an organized life, yeah? So they have no clutter around them. So let go of the things that do not longer serve you and organize what you have. So when I'm stuck in my sales, yeah, that's the first thing I always do. I go back to my environment and make sure that all the things I do not longer need anymore. And sometimes there's just like, you know, marketing material I've been holding on to from something from the past. I'm like, I'm never going to use this again. Um, it could be that I haven't organized my my new projects really in a good way, digital and literally paper wise, right? So I always go back first to doing that. Like last weekend, I was like one of them in this mode. So I'm like, okay, I need to look through everything in my office. Not that sales were slowing down, but I have big projects coming up and I'm like, I need to be on top of it. Yeah. And I need to make sure that every project has a folder, both physically. I like that to have a physically and digital. And so making sure that my whole team is connected with all these uh, digital folders, the ones that need to be in place. So that's creating structure, but also letting go of things like, oh, I don't use this anymore. Let me delete that or put it in a storage on a hard disk somewhere. I don't need to use it right away. So physical and digital decluttering and organizing is also part of good feng shui for your sales. Mm. You know, this one touched just close to heart because I remember, I think it was in my early 20s, um, I had a coach that helped me optimize my uh, environment because I felt so anxiety, so much chaos, and it was just a reflection of my environment. And I, I know how much the environment infects or gives me a boost to my current productivity uh, because it's just a reflection of my internal state. And what I, I love that you expanded on, and I, I realize how important this is too, is this digital environment is taking more and more prevalence into our lives. And uh, I wanted to ask you about this concept of translating feng shui, even as we talk about concepts coming up like the metaverse and having these things happening more in virtual reality. What are your takes and what have you been looking into when feng shui gets applied there? Yeah. So one of the things is, um, you know, that's the first thing is your screen. Like when you open your, your phone or you, when you open your computer, like so many people, they have like an overload of folders, like literally like hundreds of folders. Right. So, and they have a, um, a, you know, a, a screen behind it, like a picture or a video or something. I always say, first, make sure that you put something that really inspires you. Could be that you have a vision board, that you put like your vision board as your main screen saver, right? So that's somehow or some goals or you know, kind of a lifestyle that you want. I would not put a desert on there or like a waterfall because even if water is considered good feng shui, the waterfall kind of you know, it drains everything. It's too much water. So just be careful what you place there because it affects you. Or it could be your major new product that you want to launch, yeah, that you can put there. So subconsciously, you're getting the focus all there. And then make sure that the center, especially on a computer screen, 
the center is um, not filled with folders. So put your folders to the sides because you can just, you know, take your folders and put them anywhere, right? Um, and so that the center is open because the center, if you have space in the center, you have space to focus, yeah? And go into what, what are the folders that you don't need to see anymore. Like, this is like, make it practical. The ones you, you have to click really on all the time, but then put them to the sides, yeah? And the most important thing, the ones that are the strongest for you, the ones that are to do about finances, about future, about strategy, always put them upright in your uh, screen. Because when you look upright to the screen, you're actually focusing on future. And that's for every human being, if you're left-handed or right-handed. So when you put something in the upper right, that is, you will always think towards um, kinesthetic, towards the future, to positivity. So it's like, upright yeah so the most important folders but the same with your your phone like when you uh go to your phone and like what is on the first screen right so what's on the first screen must be the apps that are important to you yeah and the ones that are not important to you just and organize them also literally into you know um albums of of apps just organize things um because that is just very um you know, creating order in your life. And then with the whole metaverse, you know, one of the things that we're talking about also when you are working on your computer, when you're working in the metaverse, um, always face a good direction. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about when we talk about how personalized feng shui is. But that's perhaps our next step. So 